Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Fishermen couldn't believe what they saw six miles offshore, and that was just the beginning. When Rob Curdy and his friends decided to go out on a fishing trip, they never could have imagined what they'd end up hauling back to shore. After all, this was the last thing you'd think of seeing six miles out to sea. Like many guys, Curdy and his buddies enjoy time out with the boys on fishing trips, and on one particular trip in June of 2016, they'd planned on bringing home the mother load. Yes, for this particular Saturday afternoon excursion, Curdy, his brother John, and his two friends decided to go out shark fishing. Their spot for the adventure would be the Long Island Sound, a stretch of water between Long Island, New York, and Connecticut. If everything went well then, the guys could bag themselves a great catch, and the Sound does in fact host a clutch of shark species, including the Blue, the Mako, and the Hammerhead. But on this trip, they'd be coming home with something very different. When the guys were far out to sea, around six miles, they noticed something bobbing around in the water, and naturally, they decided to take a closer look. And with this being the 21st century and all, they would also film the whole encounter with their smartphones. What they saw splashing about in the water, struggling to stay afloat, was a six-point buck. That's right, almost six miles out to sea, the guys had come across a deer treading water. Well, this is pretty unbelievable, said Cortland Brown, one of the guys on the boat in cell phone footage shown on Fox News. He's a freaking buck swimming out in the Long Island Sound. You could see it was shivering, Rob Curdy told News 8. It was barely staying afloat, kind of just going in circles. If something wasn't done quickly, then the animal would have surely drowned. In the footage, the poor buck can be seen struggling in the cold water, and the guys soon came up with a plan to rescue it. It was ambitious, but if it worked, they might be able to save the animal's life. Pulling up alongside the frightened deer, Curdy and his buddies managed to tie a rope around the buck's antlers. They slowly pulled the animal toward the boat, tied it to a cleat, and headed back to shore. Mind you, as bizarre as this may appear, swimming deer aren't as unusual as you might think. Thanks to their hollow hairs, the animals are surprisingly buoyant and can usually hold their own in the water. Unfortunately for this buck, though, it had just gone out far past its depth. The guys towed it back to shore at a snail's pace, which amounted to just two miles per hour. The last thing they wanted to do, of course, was alarm the animal any more than necessary. When they got close to Madison Beach, Connecticut, it quickly became clear that the freezing deer was totally out of energy and didn't have the power to get itself to shore. So, Curdy donned a life jacket and jumped in the water. Grabbing the exhausted animal, Curdy swam it from the boat to the safety of the beach. It must have been challenging to handle an animal of that size in the water, but somehow, Curdy managed. The lucky buck was safely on land, but it was soaked through and cold. Fortunately, nearby residents came down to the beach with blankets in an effort to warm up the animal. It was taking a long time for the exhausted deer to regain its strength, and despite the blankets, it was still freezing. That's when Curdy took things to the next level. He hugged the animal, using his own body heat to help warm it up. Finally, after three tense hours on the sand, it looked as though the buck had pulled through. Struggling to its feet, the rejuvenated animal walked off unaided. It's a life and I'm not gonna let it drown Curdy told WIVB news he was out in the middle of nowhere shivering and freezing it was just the right thing to do it must have been a weird moment for Curdy and his friends when they pulled the animal out of the water and it definitely wasn't the kind of catch they were expecting from a relaxed weekend fishing trip but fortunately for all involved this amazing story had a happy ending no one's gonna believe this but it's a true fisherman story Curdy said and what a tale it is so next time you're out on a boat and you see what could be a floating log give it a second look you just never know